in Amos chapter 4, verse 1, the Bible says, And ye this war, ye kind of Bashan, which is cow, that are in the mountain of Samaria, which oppress the poor, which cross the needy, which say to their master, Bring and let us drink. Bring and let us drink the milk. In the book of Genesis, chapter 41, verse 1 to 7, the Bible was talking about King Pharaoh dreaming about lion, the fat cow, eating up the thin one. The Bible says in verse 1, And it came to pass at the end of two full years that Pharaoh dreamed, and behold, he stood by the river. Verse 2, And behold, there came up out of the river seven well favored kind and fat shed, and they fed in the middle. Verse 3, And behold, seven other kind came up after them out of the river, ill favored and leaf flesh and stood by the other kind upon the bricks of the river. Verse 4, And the hill favor and lifted kind did eat up the seven well favored and fat kind. So Pharaoh awoke. I want you to close your eyes. Say this prayer point loud and clear. Say, Any wicked power that has been tormenting and oppressing me in the dream, die in the name of Jesus. 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 Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray that prayer point. Open your mouth and pray that prayer point. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are welcome to Evangelist Joshua TV. A TV station that will teach you how to interpret your dreams with warfare prayers. The Bible has talked about kind of Bashan. What are we discussing today? We are discussing on a topic called Dream About Cows. Dream about cow. Dream about cow. We all know that cows are animals. We all know that cow can produce milk. So today we'll be looking at the spiritual meaning of cow. What effect does it have on man? What effect does it have on woman? What even effect does it even have on a pregnant woman? Seeing a cow, does it mean a good symbol? Or it means a bad symbol. In this case of this video, in particular this video, we'll be looking at the good side and be looking at the negative side. In the good side, when you wake up from the dream about cow, the number one point is wet. Wet. When you are dreaming about cow and you wake up, it's talking about wet. Wet. Where well, I know in, in the days of the Bible, cow were were in form of wet in the Bible days. So when you wake up from that dream about cow and you feel okay, you feel peaceful, then it means that you are about to have wet or abundance of wet. Then number two, it represents fertility. Fertility. This one is especially dedicated to women. Fertility. It tells you that you are going to produce fruit. You are going to be fruitful in your marriage. You are going to be fruitful in your endeavors. Praise the living Jesus. Number three point now is that we are talking about good news. When you wake up from the dream about cow and you are okay within you and you, you, are, you are not feeling threatened, you are not feeling sad, then it means good news is coming on your way. Then number four, we are talking about wisdom. And last one, number five, we are talking about meekness. How to be meek, gentility, be gentle to people, be calm, having a calm spirit. The dream about cow, it tells you for you to calm yourself down, be patient, be patient while you are believing God for a major miracle. And when you wake up from the dream about cow and you feel terrified, you feel threatened, you feel as if the whole world is against you, then it represents a number of meaning. Number one, it represents a chain destiny. It means that someone's destiny has been chained down. Number two, it represents acquire problems from your father's house. When you are dreaming about cow, it's talking about acquire problems from your father's house. It means that like you have acquired some certain particular problem from your father's house. Then number three, it represents witchcraft courses and dedication. Dreaming about cow represents witchcraft courses and dedication. When you are dreaming about cow, it means you are having this foundational problem, foundational problem, foundational attack foundational bewitchment, foundational stagnation, foundational unfruitfulness, foundational backwardness, 
foundational sickness. It means you are having this foundational problem when you are seeing cows in your dream. And the next point is spirit of impossibility. This is where you'll be walking, 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 doing a particular thing over and over again. There's no success. Then little thing, easy thing, all of a sudden it becomes so difficult for you to do that the spirit of cow right, waiting war against you. And the next point is marital and financial difficulties. You'll be having fin financial difficulties and marital problems. These are dreams about cow. And also, when you are also dreaming about cows, it's also talking about you're also talking about dedication to family idols. Dedication to family idols. When you are only seeing cows, dedication to family idols, that some things in that family have been dedicated to family idols. The big, the bull. You are dreaming, dreaming about bull, bull. You're talking about cow. You're talking about cattle. They all belongs to cattle. So when you are dreaming about cattle, you have to know the emotion attached to that cattle. If it leaves you with peace and it leaves you with sorrow. Praise the living Jesus. So I would like you to know that dream about cow depending on your mood, depending on your feelings towards the action. Every animal that God created, it is well perfected. It is the enemy that is using one that is using this animal to project evil into our life. The cow can easily be influenced by wicked spirits against, against us spiritually. Cow belongs to the family of cattle. Not all dream pointed to cows are bad. Some are still portend a pleasant omen, especially when you are rearing cow in their feed, when you are having good feelings with cow in your dream. In some dream cases, the presence of cattle in your dream can signal the entrance of celebration. The birth of Jesus Christ at the Bethlehem was a true, was a true confirmation. Cattle is, a, is an important symbol. In the Bible days, a man's weight was measured by the number of cattle he owned which can indicate a life of prosperity. So when you are dreaming about cow, it can also represent a life of prosperity. It means you are about to prosper. Just as I said in that mini, when I was trying to give you the mini, that cow can also represent wet. In the Bible days, cow were, were, was used as, as a measure to, to know the number of wet riches somebody have or somebody own, just like we have Wet, we have cow, we have uh, houses, cars, and everything, all those Lozoro things that were what Bible were uh, cattle portend in the Bible days. Praise the living Jesus. So, the horse is a symbol of luxury. The importance of cattle led David to appoint special commissioner of cattle that was taken from the book of First Corinthians, chapter 27 to 29. Unlike the physical, the spiritual meaning can stand as death when you are seeing cow in your dream. Counsel stand as dead. It's like a strong man. It's like somebody is about to destroy you. Somebody is about to terminate your life. A cow in your dream, the appearance of cow in your dream can represent destiny killers, can they represent destiny robbers, can represent st star hunters. Praise the living Jesus. So, there's cow or cattle can represent death, can represent loss of possession, can represent loss of the womb. Praise the living Jesus. The femininity of cow provide milk. This literally means that a dream involved cow indicates that you are going to yield any positive result in your home. When you wake up from the dream about cow, it means that you are going to hold, yield a positive result in your life, in your marriage. Praise the living Jesus. So when you are seeing cow, when you are seeing cow sitting, sitting, then it tells you that something somewhere is trying to tell you to relax, try to be patient in whatever you are believing God for. A cow is sitting, it does not hurt you, it does not harm you, it does not come after you. It's telling you that in that storm, you need to be calm. When you are seeing cow walking in groups, when you are seeing cow eating grasses, then it means to be peaceful with people. It means to be peaceful with people and an indication for you not to be slothful and lazy in life. When you are seeing cow walking in groups eating grasses, then it says we not to be slothful and lazy in life. Then also, when a cow is standing, it means that you are not safe. A cow is standing. A cow is moving towards you. 
it means you are not safe in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, any power that is waging war against you, I command that power to die. I command that power to die. I command that power to die. I command that power to die in the name of Jesus. I command that power to die in the name of Jesus. I command that power to die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So when you are seeing cow attacking you, that is ancestral force. That is ancestral wickedness. Cow is attacking you. It means your life is on the table of the enemy. It's when cow is attacking you, it means there's a powers in your foundation, whether in your father's house, whether where you are living, somebody somewhere that knows about you, that person is attacking you. That person can be your wife, that can be, person can be your husband, that can, person can be within your friend, your family, your relative, if you are from polygamous home, it means that somebody somewhere is attacking you. You have to pray, you have to cover yourself with the blood of Jesus, you have to protect yourself from, with the blood of Jesus. Praise the living Jesus. So when cow is chasing you, it means that you are under a severe attack. You are under foundational problem. It's telling you that you are not going to make progress. It's telling you that you are not going to fulfill your ambition. It's telling you that you are, you are going to experience backwardness, stagnation and limitation. It's telling you that they are firing an, an arrow of embargo into your life. When you are seeing, we have, we are, we are being chased by cow, then that is the spirit of restlessness. That tells you that you are not going to be now you're, you're not going to be comfortable in life. It shows that you're not going to exert. It shows that you're not going to be fruitful. Praise the living Jesus. So when in some cases, whereby a cow is running away from you, cow is running away from you, it means God, God has sent his angels to run and encamp to you. Then cow is running away from you. It means that you're about to be separated from the evil pattern of your father's house. When cow is trying to separate from you, it means that bad actors, bad people that are trying to put you in shame, that are trying to put you in sorrow, that are trying to plot for your downfall, the Lord is sending them away. Bad people, bad actors. Maybe you are trying to get married and, the man, and you are telling God, God, show me the right person. And cow is running away from you. It shows that God is chasing away bad people from you. Praise the living Jesus. When you see cow with on, or you see bulls with on, it tells you something. It tells you that you are under foundational bondage. You are under foundational limitation. You are under, you are under, there is a, what they call demonic pollution in your roots. It's affecting your life, cow with on. And that can make somebody not to achieve or make progress or prosper in his life. 